Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the positive integer x, which satisfies the equation on the board. To solve this problem, we are going to start by rearranging the given equation. Of course, you know that we can write x as x plus 0. Then we have x plus 1, x plus 2, and lastly, x plus 3. Now let us take 1 over to the right hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have 379 squared minus 1. But of course, you know that we can write this as 1 squared because 1 squared is equal to 1. Now written in this form, you are going to see the difference of 2 squares. Now on the left hand side, notice that 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. while 0 plus 3 is also equal to 3. So we are going to use symmetry to our advantage. Let us reorder these brackets. We have x multiplied by x plus 3. Of course, you know that this is the same as x plus 0. And then we have x plus 1 next to x plus 2. And this is equal to, remember how we factorize the difference of two squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, this can be written as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So 379 squared minus 1 squared can be written as 379 minus 1 multiplied by 379 plus 1. Now let us open these brackets two at a time. X times X is X squared plus 3X. X times X is X squared plus X times 2, which is 2X, plus 1 times X, which is X, plus 1 times 2, which is 2. And this is equal to 379 minus 1 is 378 and 379 plus 1 is 380. Now when you look at these two brackets you're going to see x squared plus 3x and of course you know that 2x plus x is also going to give us 3x. So here you're also going to see x squared plus 3x plus 2. So that means that here we have x squared plus 3x multiplied by x squared plus 3x plus 2. And this is equal to 378 times 380. Now to simplify the left hand side, let x squared plus 3x be equal to the letter y. Then here we have y. And here we have y plus 2. And this is equal to 378 multiplied by 380 is 378 plus 2. So we have 378 plus 2. And from here, by comparing the two sides of the equation, it's very easy to see that y is equal to 378. So we have that x squared plus 3x is equal to 378. Rearranging this quadratic equation, we have x squared plus 3x minus 378 is equal to 0. Now we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 378 that add up to plus 3. Now let us factorize this. 378, let us sum the digits. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 can be divided by 9. So that means that 378 can also be divided by 9. Now, 37 divided by 9 is 4. That is 36. Carry 1. 18 divided by 9 is 
two. So we have that 378 is 42 times nine. But of course, you know that 42 is six times seven. And then nine is three times three. Six times three is equal to 18. And seven times three is equal to 21. And 21 minus 18 is equal to three. So we have that the factors of minus 378 are going to be, now this is negative, so one of them has to be negative. This is positive, so it means that the bigger number, the larger number has to be positive. So we have minus 18 and plus 21 as the factors of minus 378, which will add up to plus 3. So that means that we can write the left-hand side of this equation as x minus 18 multiplied by x plus 21. And of course, this is equal to 0. From here, we have that x minus 18 is equal to 0, or x plus 21 is equal to 0. And of course, when we add 18 to both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to 18. When we subtract 21 from both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to minus 21. So these are the two values of x that satisfy this equation, real values. But remember that we were told that x is a positive integer. So that disqualifies this answer. So we have that the value of x that satisfies this equation is x equal to 18. Now let us check our result. We have 18 times 19 times 20 times 21 is equal to 379 squared minus 1 squared. Of course, this is 378 multiplied by 380. Now, we already know that 18 times 21 is 378. 19 times 20 is the same as 190 times 2, which is equal to 380. So you can see that when x is equal to 18, the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side of the equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.